Hi guys, this is Dr. Shivam Bhardwaj. I'm going to discuss the strategy for physiology. Now, this physiology is one of the most fundamental subject when it comes to the medical subjects, right? Now, sometimes it is perceived as a tough subject, but believe me, it is very easy subject and very conceptual subject if you take the right approach for this. Physiology, uh, it doesn't cut, uh, carries a lot of marks for your need. Uh, almost six to seven questions are going to come from the uh, physiology itself directly, but basically it is going to form the basis for other subjects like your pathology, then your medicine, then your pharmacology. So uh, while approaching this particular subject, yes, first reading is required, of course, and you should know the basics of these systems. Okay, you should know how GIT functions, you should know how cardiovascular system functions, and the normal physiology should be very clear. Then only you can know the pathology. If there is any derangement from the normal, then of course that will be read in the general pathology, and then after diagnosing, you'll be providing some treatment that is covered under the medicine and whatever medications or whatever drugs you are giving that is consulted, considered under the pharmacology. So these four branches are interrelated. So you need to have a good grasp on physiology first. Then I would recommend you to go to the next level if you are reading the pharmacology, then of course, come back and read the normal physiology of that particular system and then you can go ahead with the pharmacology then you will be understanding yes there was a derangement from the normal physiology and what this drug did actually to bring back the normal physiology so for knowing abnormal for knowing the functions of the drugs for knowing the treatment of the uh, problem you should know the basic normal thing that is your physiology so if you consider this as a normal basis of your own medical subject you will be having a very good approach for that and you can cover this topic you can master this uh, particular subject not only the topic but you have to go topic by topic that means you have to go system by system so once you are done with the git yes physiology you can go through the git you can go through the cvs you can go through the cns you can go through the respiratory you can go through the renal system and after that when you come to the pharmacology and if you take a system like GIT, then you come back to the physiology and read the basic physiology of the GIT and then try to understand the mechanism of the drug. Same way if you are reading about the medicine, then you just come back to the physiology and then read about the function of these medicines or function of the treatment, how it brings back the normal physiology. So basically, I would recommend you to just have one or two revision of your physiology right now, as of now. And then when you cover the next subject, for example, after physiology, we are going to have the pharmacology. So in pharmacology, again, come back to the system you are reading and then revise the physiology. So that can be your third re revision. Then you will come to the medicine, you will revise the basic physiology and that can be your fourth revision. So if you approach this subject like this, it will be very interesting and very much feasible also. Now, if we talk about the weightage of physiology, NB has recommended that almost seven questions are going to come from the physiology. They have uh, more definitely re uh, recommended almost 14 questions from the subject, the combined subject physiology and biochemistry. And we have seen almost six to seven questions are coming uh, in the past years also from the physiology directly. And if we see the previous year analysis, yes, 10, then eight, then 10 question in 2018, 12 in 2019, uh, 9 in 2020 and 8 in the uh, current year examinations were asked in the NEET examination from this particular subject. But I would again say there are a lot of interrelated concepts, right? So direct questions can be almost 6 to 7, yes, almost uh, 8 to 12 questions out of 240 questions that forms almost 4% of the whole uh, question paper, yes. So these are going to come directly from the physiology. I'll be discussing more about the important topics and you can get almost all the questions from those topics itself. Now, before that, let me come to the books to read for uh, physiology. So the books are the Ganong's Review of the Medical Physiology and Guyton and Hall. So these are two very important, very popular books for physiology and you can have a very good grasp on the subject uh, by reading any of this book and this is uh, relatively more concise the guide and hall so you can always rely on this or if you want in-depth knowledge then you can go for the ganong's review of medical physiology so these two are very uh, important books to read and of course owing to the important information these will be vast books that's why we have compiled the information from these books in our bytes
So if you see here, the bytes they compile the most important topics from the physiology and the important information which is potential information for your exam will be compiled very religiously here and I would also recommend that if you want to master the physiology, the bytes are enough for this particular subject. Now coming to most important part of this video that is our task and here we have covered extensively the important topics and the tasks are designed in such a way that it doesn't serve the function not only it serves the function of the physiology but it is also going to build your concepts for the subjects like pathology your medicine as well as your pharmacology so sometimes you might see in some tasks that uh, a lot of questions are not asked from these tasks but yes it is essential because the function here for the physiology is just to build your concept for other subjects so if you do all these tasks religiously if you do master these here itself then your life will be easier for the subjects like pharmacology and medicine so if we see the task here the first task is the git and the digestive secretion so you should know about the different organs of the git as well as the different parts of the git you should know about the oral cavity the esophagus then you should know about the uh, stomach then the intestine as well as the important organs like pancreas as well as liver and their secretions and how their secretion uh, leads to the digestion of the food so that uh, information is required as well as you should know about the digestion so digestion like protein is digested where the digestion of starch starts from where the digestion of lipids start from where and how digestion occurs which enzymes digest which type of type of food and how the digestion goes ahead so all that thing can be read in the digestion and its regulation then we have the transport of gases and oxygen dissociation curve recently a lot of questions have been asked from the oxygen dissociation curve and you should uh, always consider that at least one question is going to come from this particular topic so you should be very much proficient in this particular topic also then we see the lung volume and capacities yes there are a lot of volumes which you have to remember you have to remember the values as well as you have to remember the definition of these there is tidal volume then inspiratory reserve volume expiratory reserve volume all that you have to read in this particular topic then we have regulation of the breathing and the respiratory failure respiratory failure is uh, discussed more in details in the medicine here we'll be discussing more about the regulation of the breathing then we have uh, hypoxia surfactants and the miscellaneous so what is hypoxia the type of hypoxia how you are going to treat it what are the different symptoms of different hypoxia what is the mechanism of different hypoxia all that you have to remember as well as you should know about the cells which are going to uh, secrete the surfactants and what are the surfactants and what is the function of the surfactants then comes the renal system not a lot of questions are asked from the renal system just you should know the basic mechanism right so there are certain mechanisms for example counter current mechanism and other mechanism also then where uh, actually in the nephron the uh, maximum absorption of water occurs which was, which is going to be more permeable to water and which is going to be more permeable to the solute so all that thing you have to remember here then we have types of nerve fibers so this types of nerve fibers is important here as well as a part of these nerve fibers is discussed in the endodontics also so you should know the functions of the types of the nerve fibers as well as you should know the sheldon's classification right so all that you have to remember here itself and then you can know about the nerve injury which is more uh, frequently a part of the medicine and generally we discuss this here in the physiology so that you don't have to read it in medicine also then comes the muscle spindle and Golgi tendon yes this is more related to the medical uh, topic actually it is more important for the medical MBBS and MD but here we have given it because sometimes a lot of questions are repeated from the medical examination and that's why uh, since a lot of questions are asked from here so there are more chances of repeating these concepts in the MDS examination also then we have nerve conduction and neuromuscular junction so you should know the basics of these now the most important system to read from physiology is your cardiovascular system so if I say cardiovascular system is not important for uh, the physiology only but a lot of questions are going to be asked in the pharmacology as well as in medicine and you can uh, expect at least three to four questions in different subjects from cardiovascular system itself that's why it becomes very very much important to understand the uh, 
बेसिक फिजियोलॉजी ऑफ द कार्डियोवास्कुलर सिस्टम सो यू शुड नो हार्ट एज अ पम्प वॉट आर द डिफरेंट वॉल्स वॉट आर द डिफरेंट हार्ट साउंड एंड हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू पम्प द ब्लड एंड यू शुड नो द डिफरेंट वॉल्यूम फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्ट्रॉक वॉल्यूम कार्डियक इंडेक्स एंड ऑल देन यू शुड नो द ब्लड प्रेशर वॉट आर द फैक्टर्स विच आर गोइंग टू अफेक्ट द ब्लड प्रेशर दिस इज मोर कॉमनली आज इन द नीट एम डी एग्जामिनेशन बट येस वी आर गिविंग इट हेयर बिकॉज वी नीड यू वी वॉन्ट यू टू हैव अ गुड ग्रास्प ऑन ऑल द एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द कार्डियोवास्कुलर सिस्टम देन वी हैव द कार्डियोवास्कुलर रेगुलेटरी मैकेनिज्म एटलीस्ट वन क्वेश्चन कैन बी आज फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर मैकेनिज इन योर एग्जाम फ्रॉम फिजियोलॉजी देन ऑफकोर्स इलेक्ट्रिकल एक्टिविटी ऑफ हार्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द एग्जाम देन कमिंग टू दैट नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट इज योर हिमेटोलॉजी इन द हिमेटोलॉजी यू हैव टू टास्क एक्चुअली वन इज ब्लड एंड अनदर इज द एनीमिया राइट देन वी हैव सर्टेन इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रिक्वेंटली आस्क क्वेश्चन अबाउट द सी एन एस बिकॉज वी कैन नॉट गो इन मच डेप इन सी एन एस इफ यू आर विलिंग टू गेट इन मच डेप ऑफ सी एन एस यूल बी लूजिंग एन इंपॉर्टेंट टाइम बिकॉज नॉट अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर आज फ्रॉम सी एन एस इन द फिजियोलॉजी इट सेल्फ सो वॉट एवर इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर सी एन एस इज बींग कवर्ड इन द टास्क हेयर इट सेल्फ देन कमिंग टू द एंडोक्राइनोलॉजी अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट endocrinology is going to create a very perform a very important part and that's going to play a very important role in your selection and if you have good grasp of this your life for the medicine will be easier again endocrinology is going to fetch you almost 3 to 4 questions from all the uh, different disciplines so it can come from the physiology it can be uh, from the pharmacology and it can be also from the uh, medicine so what are the different tasks you should know about the different receptors as well as secondary messages basically you should know uh, the basic function of different type of Uh, different classifications of the hormones and how they are going to perform their function right calcium metabolism is going to give you a very uh, important aspect of the uh, from the endocrinology actually so at least one question is expected from this hair itself as well as some of the part of from the biochemistry is also covered from here so that becomes important for you and being a dentist you should know the calcium metabolism while performing the implant surgery and various osseous surgeries also so that's going to be important here as well as in the oral pathology you will be reading about the bone disease which again forms a very important part so all that can be cleared from here so basic physiology of the bone as well as the calcium metabolism can be done from the physiology here itself then the pancreatic hormones again very important thing then your pituitary thyroid and adrenal gland now the disorders of any of these hormones can be asked that can be covered in medicine as well as we are going to know about the basics of these here in the physiology itself then comes our general physiology now general physiology is going to fetch you at least one question in your exam and what are the different tasks in the general physiology first is the cell membrane and the transport across cell membrane and we know about the transport the facilitated diffusion the uh, different types of the transports which are being taken place and different type of uh, co transporter as well as different type of uh, uh, the uh, messengers as well as the ex expenditure of the energy all that can be considered here itself then coming to the general physiology and body fluids and the cell organelles and the extra cellular matrix all that is basic uh, general physiology in these basically they'll be asking more about the fluids as well as more about your transport so by now we have discussed an extensive list of task which is going to be important for the physiology and not all the task are going to fetch you the questions but yes they are going to fetch you the concepts which are important for your other subjects so do all the task very carefully and if you master this you won't fear up from the basic subjects again i hope i have made the strategy for physiology clear to you still if you have any other doubts you can just uh, comment in the comment box below we'll surely reply if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to our channel and if you want to get notified for upcoming videos please hit the bell icon thank you